What's up, travelers? In this video, it's our last day in De Lot, Vietnam, but we're going to go check out some uh, Boon Rio crab noodle soup, and it just sounds amazing. All right, so we are at Koh Lan Boon Ryu, and this looks absolutely fantastic. I was a little bit concerned that it was going to have tofu in it, but because I'm allergic to tofu, but luckily they didn't have it this time. But oh man, they gave us this big old plate of veggies here, and this this broth that just looks just phenomenal. It's nice and oily and it's got a beautiful beautiful color to it let's give that a taste real quick mm. oh yeah that just tastes like crab like pure crab what we got here so we got a nice big piece of pork here on the bone there we go we got some chives, we got noodles, we got a nice big piece of crab paste, a little bit more of that here, some tomatoes, some uh, pork, uh, pork blood cake, oh yeah this is, this is what I've been waiting for right here. Alright, I just brought one more time before we dig in. All right, so I think we're gonna add just a, a little bit of lime into it. Oh yeah. Happy days, happy days. Let's get some of these noodles. Oh. Yeah. That's the perfect thing to throw onto an empty stomach. I can tell you that for sure. Some of this crab paste. Oh. That's just amazing. So they use freshwater crab for this. Um, I imagine taken right out of the, the local rice patties here it's got a tomato broth some places they serve it with shrimp some places they serve it with with uh, snails but this is the one I've been looking for the one with the crab in it not that I'm opposed to trying the other ones they have a bowl of this purple stuff here which is called Nam Tom. It is fermented shrimp paste. It is one of my favorite things, but I'm not going to add it to this because I think I think this dish actually deserves just to be left alone, honestly. So we're just going to throw some more of these veggies in here. Mix it up. Pull this piece of pork out of here. Mm. This is an unbelievable meal. <laughs> so Boon Rio was one of the first dishes that I ever had when I was in Saigon back in 2020. That dish that I had, it had more of the, the paste to it, but I believe that was a shrimp paste back then. And it also had a bunch of tofu in it. And I, I kind of really freaked out about that. I had a little bit of an allergic reaction. It wasn't very fun. Mm. Dig into one of these tomatoes here. Oh, yeah. 
I got this blood cake here. Now, this is something that most Americans kind of shy away from, but I've actually found a little bit of blood cake is something that you need in your life. Yeah. A very rich and meaty flavor to it. You would expect it to have more of an iron taste to it, but there's really not a lot of that to it. Don't be afraid of it when you come over here. Go ahead and give it a try. This is fantastic stuff. I had another dish that was on my radar that I really wanted to try while I was here, but looked like I didn't get up early enough to go get it. <laughs> I'm going to have to find something else to, to fill this video up. Come to Dalat, come to Colan, Boon Rio. Uh, of course, we'll leave a place in the description for you to come find this place. And uh, yeah, come check it out. You will not be disappointed. So I currently have no idea what I'm going to have for my last meal here in Dalat. I got to get up bright and early in the morning and head to the airport and fly to Hanoi. So that's going to be fun. But yeah, your guess is as good as mine is for what we're going to eat. I believe I found what I'm gonna get. It is called Bon Longa. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but this is the place right here. We ended up going with something strange as far as Westerners are concerned. So this is this is rice noodles with chicken and young chicken eggs. So they're actually eggs that haven't been laid yet. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit unusual. I've never had these before. I imagine it's going to be a lot better than the ones that have been fertilized and the embryos are inside, which I tried those and in the video back in 2020 and yeah those those were horrible <laughs> not for me you might like them but definitely not for me we'll wait for the food to get here don't really know what to expect here but i guess we're just gonna go straight into it we're gonna try one of these pieces of egg right there. Interesting. Seems to be fairly hard. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. Kind of spongy. Um, definitely not what I kind of expected. I kind of expected it to... I don't really know what I expected. It was kind of... I had no idea what I was getting into. <laughs> uh, some more chicken here. Mm. Oh yeah, that's the marinade on that chicken is fantastic. Some of these noodles. So what they did here is they just took a bunch of rice papers and, and steamed them up and then cut them up. Yeah, whatever sauce they used and on this, it just really, really picked that sauce up. Awesome flavors. It's got a nice, a nice sweetness to it. But, you know, a lot of Vietnamese cooking has sugar added to it. And there's some black pepper in there for sure. And that peppercorn just kind of rolled up on me and beat my ass. <coughs> Um, yeah. Yeah, this is a really interesting dish. It's not as weird as I was expecting. Um, it's actually really good. Highly recommend coming and checking this out.
The weirdest part of it is when, when you bite into that egg, it kind of squeaks against your teeth. <laughs> I give it an A plus. <laughs> hmm. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more as I tour around Southeast Asia, I'm heading off to Hanoi tomorrow. After about a, a week worth of videos there, I'm heading off to Bangkok and I'm going to be spending plenty of time over there in Thailand. Uh, so go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you're into it. And as always, eat great food.